Hi there everyone, it's Anthony from the Gateball Refereeing Channel. Today we're going to be discussing probably one of the most important things in Gateball and that's aiming or target line identification. So it's all well and good picking the stroke that we like and the system that we like and you know getting ready, getting this nice plane if we're using the golf croquet, uh, golf style uh, or we you know getting really linear and uh, nice and um, tempoed with our croquet style or perhaps even getting really lined up with our uh, Chinese style. But there's no point in doing all of that if we can't understand the fundamentals of aiming. Now I'm just here in front of gate three. I'm probably about, you know, uh, four, four and a half meters away from the gate. This is, you know, a shot that most, we'd call them professional gate ballers uh, in the uh, uh, A1 category leagues in Japan, uh, would do 100% of the time. And they only play to the side. So I'm going to be discussing how to aim to the side for the core of this video, but I'll quickly run over how to aim for the other systems. For the other systems, which are the croquet style and the Chinese style, we stalk the ball. So I'm facing the camera, I'm aiming towards the camera. We stalk the ball, creating, looking at our target, looking at our ball, drawing a line through the two of them. Walking up, we're using the croquet style, walking up and just placing the mallet on that, uh, the stick, sorry, on that line, and then swinging back and through. Now obviously I topped it a bit there, but we're just working on aiming. The second bit, uh, we were using the Chinese style, exactly the same. We draw a line through our target, we draw a line through the ball, and then we line, we put our foot, our left foot next to the target, we put our stick, in contact with our foot and in contact with the imaginary target line right foot next to it and then we hit through simple as that but when we're aiming to the side there are a few other steps or using the the golf style there are a few other steps that we have to implement in order to aim because just envisaging a target line doesn't really mean much when we're standing down here and I've got this this um this uh, alignment rod just and it might seem like it's pointed out a little bit to the left but the ball is going to be over here so it's, it's pointed straight um, when we're standing over here that target line is obscure because we're looking in the completely different direction in comparison to where we're hitting we're going we're creating an arc and in creating an arc with our swing it becomes incredibly difficult to see a linear line so we need to use a different system and it's a system that's actually utilized in a lot of other sports and the greatest way to think of this is thinking we're going to walk up and imagine I want you to now imagine an imaginary line going through this six ball through the middle of the six ball and through the middle of the gate simple really really easy then while doing that we're going to pick a spot or a defect on the court surface that is on that line but that's a few inches to a you know just a foot in front of our ball so if I just turn my back to the camera for a moment, having a look, right. So I can see that this little defect, this little patch here in front of my ball sits directly on the line between the center of my six ball, through that little dead patch, through the center of the gate. You might be asking Anthony, why do I need to pick a defect on the lawn? What's it gonna do? Well, it gives you a centralized aiming point that's in front of you that you can see with your eyes. When we're down here and we're getting ready to strike the ball, the gate's out of my range. I can't see it. I'm basically aiming blind if I'm thinking of it like that. But I can see this little dead spot here. So I know that if the center of the six ball crosses over the center of that dead patch, as long as I've done my lining upright, the ball should go through. So I get down, I've, select, I've, I've looked, Stalked the ball, selected it, gonna aim through the dead patch, swing through normally. And you can see that we went right through the gate. So the way that we use aiming, which is incredibly important in gate ball, when we're hitting to the side with the golf style, revolves around picking a point a few inches in front of your ball to perhaps a few feet in front of your ball that's on the target line, which you imagine after you've stalked it, so you walk behind the ball, you imagine the target line going through the center of a ball, so through the center of the eight ball in this instance, and the center of the gate, 
and you just pick a little patch. You just pick the little patch, you look, you walk back, and obviously I'm not gonna stand right behind it because the camera is right here and you won't be able to see me, but you pick a little patch on that target line. You then make your normal committed stroke through the ball as normal, aiming at the patch, not at the gate, forget about it. Or even this can also work for a ball, between two balls, exactly the same concept. Aiming at that little patch, and as long as you hit through that patch correctly, following all the correct uh, things that you've done through technique management and development, and that patch is actually on the line, because often, you know, you could be a little bit off, the ball will go through the gate. So that's the, uh, probably the simplified system of aiming when you're using the golf uh, style, as well as a little bit of an intro to aiming with the Chinese style and the croquet style. Hope to see you on the channel sometime soon, and have a great day.